Come on, we ain't doing all that talking. Hey, we ain't doing all that talking. We gonna see on the fifteen. We gonna see on the fifteen. My shit. You see, I come over here. Hey, we gonna we gonna see on the fifteen. My shit. Ain't going nowhere, nigga. My shit. Y'all ain't going nowhere, nigga. Come around. Hey, come on, hey. No God Go, that way guys you guys got to back up Don Davis and Lamont Roach have held their first meeting despite Davis promises that it will take place in the following week Lamont Roach and Travona Davis have a decent link among amateurs nonetheless there has been so much animosity between them that it has swiftly spread from social media. To the come on we do, we ain't doing all that we going to see on the come here. We going see on general press conference begins next week according to a post. Of begin next week, however, John Davis and Lamont Roach is behind their official press conference. Next week, the team of Lamont team on Roach Lamont Roach approached Tank Davis and shook hands. As expected, Devin Tank Davis refused him and they moved on to other things until it was time for the big reveal. It was extremely similar to the confrontation between D.V. Davis and Hector Garcia in which Davis and Davis acted provocatively. He did the same with Lamont Roach, who was not as calm as Hector Garcia Lot. Roach was as calm as Hector Garcia too. The pair's antagonism was obvious throughout the first press conference, the incident, was merely a foreshadowing of how vicious the upcoming press conference and more importantly the fight on December 14th would be the John Davis and Lamont Roach Jr. battle is slowly but surely building traction following an unimpressive reaction to the announcement fans and analysts are gearing up for the forthcoming World Boxing Association lightweight title fight on December 14th at the Toyota Center in Houston, Texas, both of these fighters have also engaged in multiple internet spats, which have only added to the excitement surrounding their approaching encounter. All right, guys, out face the crow face the crowd camera in the back, guys, Hector camera in the back. This fight is shaping up to be a skilled one with an exciting end card. Both of them are strong. And while Tank is the overwhelming favorite experts in boxes are not ruling out Lamont Roach totally, the hype sat down with Richardson Hitchens and Kenneth Sims Jr. to get their thoughts on the bout and their answers may surprise you fight excitement question the undefeated super lightweight Hitchens about his experience with the two fighters and what fans may expect from their fight the New York native addressed the similarities between Tank and Roach warning fans not to take the latter lightly Hitchens was sure that the 25 year old fighter would stun everyone and provide a spectacular bout. Years ago, I want to say like 2016, 2017 years ago, um, I think it's a, I think it's a great fight, you know, because why not um, this guy Lamont Roach Lamont was up in the same atmosphere as Tank, and they have many parallels, I think a lot of people are people are ring lot off, because of against Jam Har shown consistency over the years, when discussing how is talking about how Roach has turned his career around. Since the L against Herring in 2019-18 boxer then promised the fight to be a technical fay. While talking about who will have the upper hand in a technical fight technic, he knows how to protect himself, knows ways to maneuver looking for to fight Richardson going to back fight will have an obvious advantage, perfect defense according to Hitchens. Rook should try to finish the fight early because if it comes down to the latter rounds, Davis is likely to stretch the battle to his own pace to achieve the desired result while defending Rook Davis. Has a good opponent Davis Hitchens remarked that it's not as. If the tank is simply picking out a bum lemon certainly knows how toy better than most of the guys tank fought kind of a lot of s similarities they both box each other numerous times and i think that a lot of people ride in lamont off because of his one loss with um jamal heron but through the years he showed he got cons consistently better and better he 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 uh, he silenced out the cr critics he went and grabbed him a world title and I think that welterweight Wonder June has fought both row. And Davis voiced his thoughts on the battle and what these fighters must do to win it. 
and first avoided try talk goods disrespect fight that like a great fight for boxing I think that boxing fans are trying to like basically shut Lamar out I don't know maybe because he's not a big name or is a smaller guy but I think um it's definitely going to be a great technical fight I think that um um tank no that Lamont can fight and Lamont no tank can fight so the boxing world when asked what both of them needed to do to win the fight the Illinois resident said that both Roach and Tank are counter punchers and that in order to win one of them needed to step outside of their comfort zone and force the other to open also stated Thatch that Davis is slow starter but as the fight progresses he'll pick it up and then he gets busy according to Kenneth Sims Jr. but in order to win this fight he'll have to attack much earlier than usual otherwise. It may be too late given how quickly Roach B.S. and picks up points early in the fight forward to watching the fight. Do you think the fact that it is going to be a technical fight, do you think that that favors Lamont or does it favor Tank? Because I think a lot of people you know, they really haven't seen Tank's technical skills yet, right? Yeah, I mean, I know Tank technical skills. Tank is a, a tremendous a fighter. Tank is really this was a surprise take given that most people had written off Lamont Roach. In his lightweight title debut, Arthur BBF joined the ranks of boxing greats when he death defeated Dimitri Bevel and rode to become the first undisputed light heavyweight champion of the four belt era, making history last week in BPV. And his team have been continually in the media glare last week. One of the finest BF coaches, John Scully, accidentally sparked a feud with none other than Don Davis when he plainly claimed that Tank is not yet in the Boxing Hall of Fame. He's a, I want to say, he's, he's kind of like a defensive, you know, genius. Like he, he know how to protect himself, and he know ways to maneuver to slow down a pace, and different angles, I think, that that fight will, he will probably favor Tank, because Tank speed Tank have God-given speed, and in Ruffle, a former box trainer, was recently questioned 100 podcast if Davis would be inducted into the International Boxing Hall of STO today, Iceman stated that the current WBA lightweight world champion, who has spectacular wins over Leo Sant Ryan Garcia, did not earn it according to Scully. The Boxing Hall of Fame should be kept for stars such as Sugar Henry Armstrong, Joe Sugary Large, maimed Ollie Scully helped no perhaps in this day in the way things are done. But for me, the Hall of Fame has always been the top of the elites. I'm not going to name Nam of Fame. Always see fight a B. I don't want any names there, guys. Into that Absol, he's supposed to fight apparently Lamont Roach at a 130. And I think a lot of people are upset about that, like he's not fighting champ of F as always. The elite of the elite Davis regarded this as disrespect and chose to launch a nasty reaction on our better brother and his team online however his response backfired horribly the 29 year old from baltimore is well known for his unshakable confidence which is backed up by one of the most watchable fighting styles in the sport with 28 knockouts and 30 fights tank is largely regarded as one of the best boxes in the world but others say he has yet to show his real potential against other top fighters he's not unified and people still have him as a, as a top power F fighter, um, if Javon Davis would have retired today, would he be considered Hall of Fame in Europe? The 30-year-old fighter took to X saying that even the undisputed light heavyweight champion is unworthy of the Hall of Fame. Tank Davis became aware of the opinion and responded by X trying to undermine the exploits of Scully's current star, or BBB, who defeated Dimitri Bevel this month to become the first undisputed light. Heavyweight champion in over the decades according to Davis Batter BB is not a good boxer and is now nowhere near his ability no. And you know what because I mean probably in this era and the way they do things he claimed that the big strong bum Goofy he trains is not a Hall of Fame fighter and he is a bum the post which was swiftly deleted in typical Von Davis fashion made its way to Michael Benson who posted a screenshot on his account. While BBF may not be in the Hall of Fame, he is not as bad. As Davis made him out to be in fact, he is currently one of the top active fighters and has more awards than Tank himself. This response backfired on the Baltimore native, as people swiftly told him where or BBB ranks in comparison to Javon Davis. One fan called the WBA lightweight champion's answer stupid pointing out 
that BBB had significantly more accolades in his career than Tank were stands in comparing the of fame. But at the bare minimum, he's surely a lot closer than Tank showing that one or two more career finding victory will let the Russian boxer to enter that Hall of Fame you know, but for me you know, but but for me the Hall of Fame has always been. The elite of the elites, you know I mean you're talking Sugar Robinson another admirer attack Tank's tendency of regularly engaging into online beef with nearly every boxer writing soft bum guy feeling hurt and questioned Davis's willingness to accept Criticism Davis recently got into an internet spat with Lamont Roach Jr. and other fans said he would dissolve you little man please be cautious when honoring the strength of the undisputed light heavyweight winner RBBB is one of the deadliest boxes. Right now and before death facing Bevel he had won every single match by knockout better BF is currently ranked fourth in Ring Magazine's pound four pound list but stays seventh in the comparison tank talking Henry Armstrong Joe Lewis, talking Sugar Ray Leonard you know Muhammad Ali, uh, again, I don't I don't want to say.